<clears throat> hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How are y'all doing today? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I have one of my favorite colors on my base today from color to go Sherwin-Williams. It's Sea Washed Glass. Love this color. It's so pretty. So when they come back in stock, I'm going to run and get me a whole bunch of these because I'm almost out of my uh, Sea Washed Glass. Yeah. Okay. So, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas. No silicone, no water, no glue in it. Just plain old, out of the old. And happiness is homemade, according to your spinner. Sea washed glass container, even though this has blue. It's just one of those, you know. Just showing your prop, huh? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I think you use that prop for every time you show it. This is really the sea wash. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. But this is really the sea wash. <laughs> I feel when I have 50 of them down here, I can just grab one because they all look alike. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. The only difference is there's different colors inside. <clears throat> my allergies are really bad today, so forgive me if I have to clear my froggy throat. Okay, I have Phalo Blue by Liquitex Basics. Then I have Autumn Leaf, which is primary elements, but color art. <clears throat> Iridescent Blue Green PBO. This is Brilliant Gold by Pearl X. Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. This is Sassafras and Sunflower uh, Primary Elements by Color Art. Last but not least is Iridescent Green Blue by PBO. I may throw in a little bit of this Aztec Gold by Pearl X, and I may throw in a little bit of this Pearl White by Pearl X. Oh. Isn't there? Those are pigments as well. Okay. As you can see, Kathy has a little bit different setup today. She still has her puppy pull down. But on top of that, she put a basin that goes under a washing machine, which she got from Home Depot. She uses that sometimes when she knows she's not gonna do any spinning. In this case, she is still gonna be doing some spinning, so she's using her... Uh... What? My... Which, which one are you pointing to, Phil? I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, I have my spinner. No, Lazy Susan. Oh, okay, well, yeah, it's a lazy that's Susan. What I'm trying. My mind went completely blank. Because so, I'm thinking your point, so, and I'm thinking, okay, we have a whole bunch so, of stuff here. <laughs> Kathy has a lazy Susan on top of that. Uh, what The reason she's doing it this way is sometimes when she spins and swipes at the same time, she likes to have the canvas uh, a little bit higher so she can get the correct angle to swipe the cell activator. So it's very important not to be, uh, you know, too steep of an angle that digs in or not being able to swipe the whole way without stopping. So uh, this is the setup that Kathy uses once in a while when she knows she's going to be doing that type of a pour. Yeah, whenever I have like um, something really close to the end of the canvas, well, um, when I'm in my puppy pool, what happens is my arm gets stuck and I hit and I, it just digs in and you don't get your cells. So um, whenever I have like a tail or anything and I'm close to the edge, I bring this little contraption out out of the archives. Works like a charm, except the uh, Lazy Susan is very noisy. And it doesn't spin as fast as I'd like it to, but that's okay because sometimes I don't want to spin real fast. One of my subscribers said, you know, put WD-40 on it, which I already knew that but then it will take off, and uh, I really don't want it to take off. So this is sassafras and sunflower now, mixed together. A lot of these are Phil's colors that he loves. He loves the browns. Yes, I do. I'm not a fan of the browns, but that's okay. That's not the football team either. So if you're a Browns fan, that's okay. They're good. Not as good as the bears, though. I know. <laughs> I should have added that. <laughs> Phil is a Bears fan because we're from the Chicago area, so got to stick with your team. All these paints and pigments that Kathy is using today have the same recipe. That's in video 478. There's a direct link to that recipe video in the description box, and it'll explain her very easy recipe for her pouring medium her cell activator, and some other tips and tricks. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I uh, wiped my nose with my paper towels here. The other day I had uh, a blue nose and a black nose. <laughs> so 
So I was black and blue. So I don't really look down to see. Of course, as usual, Kathy's cell activator is Amsterdam Oxide Black with Australian Floetrol. And of course the recipe is in the recipe video I mentioned. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen here, Phil. Okay. Purdy. Purdy. Starting, Purdy cells. To, starting to get some things perk in there. <clears throat> yes, we are. We gotta see what's gonna happen here. Hoo hoo. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like, I like this sea glass. I love base. that color. Yes, it's so pretty. It's just, it's soft and pretty, and it goes with a lot of different colors. That's what I like. Just enhances whatever you're using. <clears throat> oh, where's my stick? So we're gonna let this come up a little bit. I need to let this come up. Getting. You don't have to be in a big rush. Ah. You're getting some really nice cells in the rounded part of the swipe. Of course, Kathy's using her straw to bring the colors up from underneath the cell activator. Yeah, you just have to have a little patience with, you know, your cell activator. Just, it's fine. You don't have to be in a big rush. We're not going anywhere. So, now I'm going to start wrecking here. Do a little wrecking. I, I have unsolicited advice. Oh, no. Were now you, you going to add some cell activator to get more cells on the tail? If you'd like. Well, we can. I, I think we uh, can. That would be something to... I know you're a cellulicious man. That's right. You know, Phil, I put, you are a cellulicious. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Prime by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join. It's growing tremendously. You can post your own creations, which is really neat. Ask questions, make comments. It's a wonderful group. We keep it safe for everybody. It's especially nice for beginners because there's lots of very good artists of all different uh, types Calibers. of paint pouring techniques yeah, that which is really can answer cool. your questions. Here we go. See, yeah, which is really neat. That extra swipe there uh, got us going with some cells, which is nice. Oh, that's real cool. I just put my fingers in that paint, Phil. That's something I usually do. I'm so used to having, you know, my yes. other thing, my spinner, and put my hands on my puppy pull that now I'm not used to this. This is something kind of new for me, people. What's you new? came up with this contraption. You've used this before. Well, I know, but it's kind of new. I don't okay. use it that often. Well, that's true. I've only used it like maybe three times. So I got I to gotta see where I'm at. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. How do I want to do this? Kathy does have an Amazon shop where you can get pretty much everything you need for paint pouring supplies. There's a direct link in the description box to Kathy's Amazon shop. And of course, her Etsy shop with all her original art uh, for sale is. There's a link also for that in the description box. It's just kind of fun to peruse out there uh, in both sites, see what's available. Ah, 
really neat. If you're looking to save some money on your art supplies, Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements and all their products. There's a nice 20% savings discount coupon in the description box. Her discount code is Kathy Miller 520. So use that code, save some money, and get some wonderful products. And also, Kathy is an affiliate of KS Resin. You can save some money on their products by using the discount code and link in the description box for KS Resin. And there are two new sets out by Color Art. One of them is called Summer Sequins. Summer Sequins. And Beach Bouquet. And Beach Bouquet. Beach Bouquet um, are prism pours, which are really cool. They're pre made. They are neat. They are very neat. glitzy. And that just came out literally a couple days ago. And the Summer Sequins just came out. And that will be out, I think, until what, September? Uh, September 30th. September 30th. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful set of colors uh, for you to use. Kathy's used some in her creations already. Yeah, they're but, really neat. So again, there's a direct link in the description box to colorart.com. And again, the discount code Kathy Miller 520 will save you a real nice chunk of change on these wonderful products. Yeah, so head on over. Those colors will go really cool with that seagrass base. It does. Uh, seaglass? Or seaglass. I, I always say seagrass, too. I don't know why. And then I look at it and I went, oh, seaglass. Wow. That is so cool. That's pretty neat. I just got to pop those bubbles after. You can see Kathy is using her wrecking, little wrecking ball to make some really neat wrecking lines throughout the creation. Here's the this the sea glass green. When I come down, it turns it to more of a bluish. It does. Yes, strange, very strange. Of course, that, of course that's the reflection of the lights we're using. Oh, with the dumb phone. Okay, I think we can spin this. Yes, get an overall picture of that. Our noisy, lazy Susan. La, 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 we're gonna, la, 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 la. We're going to call it a noisy Susan. Oh, wow. I just got to go the other way, but this oh, is cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That is so cool. I wonder if I should tip that part off. I don't think I would, but I think I'm going to leave it because it's really pretty. This is really pretty. Yes. I just got to go one more time. Okay. Not very fast. Don't yourself. worry, though. Don't worry. I know. I know. I know. I'm not going to lose them. I just wanted to make them a little bit bigger, and that's what I did. Okay. Well, I just so. to stretch them out a tad. Let me just pop a couple right. of these bubbles, and then we can do a close-up and show the glitz because there's glitz in here. All okay. right, let's take a look at this central okay, area here. Get my gloves off. Okay. Very cool. These colors are pretty with this background. Yes. Very, very pretty. The phone isn't picking up the background quite um, the, the way green. it actually looks. Oh, see, look at Look at, at the glitz. Look at that. Oh, is that beautiful. Oh, don't go so fast, because that way they can really see the glitz. Look at that. 
Oh, is that pretty? Look. Mm. Oh, it is really sharp. It really is. Look at that area, wow. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so actually, um, they can probably see the color back no, better they, if you no, show. They can see it now. When okay. I'm when I'm up here, you see it. You see Perfect. it perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you see the real color. Um, yeah, because this when I back off glass, a little bit. Uh, is really a beautiful color. That's why I'm heading over to Sherwin Williams as soon as they come back with the color to goes, because this this color is just stunning and it goes with so many different. Uh, creations. Yes, it does. This is really pretty. Well, if you like my creation, you know what to do. Uh, head on over to our channel, subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified every single time Phil uploads. And that's just about every single day, people. Um, we have over 600 videos. And I hope that I teach you something and you learn something new and have fun with me. And like I always say, this is only paint. So uh, if you don't like it, scrape it. It's only yes. paint. Don't let it, you know, intimidate you. You're you're the one in charge. So until the next time, everybody, I hope you stay well, stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. We love all of you. Until the end of this, bye-bye. These are, I, I call them, I don't know the, the right term, but I call them a spin swipe. And they really are, create really cool patterns. Intriguing character to it yeah i don't know what the real term is but that i i think i've uh, seen people uh call it a spin swipe okay yes